Unfortunately, because we don't know the exact cause of chemo brain, it's hard to be able to prevent it. What patients who suffer from these symptoms have found helpful is keeping a notebook and writing things down as reminders and as a way to help them organize their day. What we recommend is routine exercise, staying active both physically as well as mentally, good sleep habits, and reducing stress as much as possible through relaxation techniques. Those can also be effective coping mechanisms. Um, I think as providers, we are also, we need to be aware of multiple other causes of uh, cognitive dysfunction. So that there can be many factors such as depression and anxiety, which we know are very prevalent in our cancer population. And we know that those in and of themselves can lead to cognitive impairment. Things such as fatigue, anemia, even side effects of our supportive medications can sometimes be a little bit sedating and cause cognitive dysfunction. And some of these things are relatively easy to treat, so it's important to look at all the potential confounding factors and treat them as appropriate.